today in this class i am going to explain the underground cable electric power we can transmitted and distributed by two ways one is for the overhead system another one is for the underground cable in overhead system we have many advantages that is the construction is the rugged construction and it is more service reliable and uh, the increased safety comparing to the underground cable the fault occurrence is somewhat less and maintenance is also better but in the drawback is in underground cable the initial cost is more that is we need to take the deep trench 2 feet to 2 feet the initial construction cost is more and the cable cost is also high as well as maintenance cost is less and we can't able to transfer high operating voltage generally we can transfer the electric power by two method one is for the underground cable another one is for the overhead system comparing to the overhead system in underground cable many advantages are there that is it is greater service reliability and the safety the fault chances of fault occurrence is very very less and it is not affected for the lightning thunderstorm and the accident or fault is very very less but the major drawback is the initial cost is more that is cable cost as well as for the construction cost and another thing the identification of fault and rectification fault is difficult now that is the cable that is the combination of conductor and its insulation is called as cable that is the material they are used is called as aluminum material another one is for the copper material another one is for the copper material for transmission and then distribution line they are preferred for the aluminum material for household purpose that is industrial application they are used for the copper material that is the copper cost is more comparing to the aluminum in aluminum the insulation problem is also not arises but in the copper once it is observed for the moisture particle or alkalines or gasoline the formation of the corrosion due to that the insulation problem is taken place that is the combination of conductor with its the suitable insulation is called as cable the insulation it should be differ based upon the operating voltage for 220 volt the cable the insulation is different for 440 volt and 11 kv 33 kv 66 kv the insulation is different once the operating voltage is increased means the cable the construction and the structure is also different the next one the underground cable that is it is combination of one or more than one conductor covered with the suitable insulation and surrounded by a protecting cover that is in can over a transmission line from one conductor to another conductor the maintain for the spacing that is starting point to ending point that is generating station to the receiving substation substation to another substation and substation to the distribution line up to the end of the consumer the spacing it should be maintained for constant that is r phase to y phase and y to b but in underground cable all the conductor it will be close to each other and the each the conductor they are maintained for the suitable insulation the total the covered with a protecting cover total covered with a protecting cover this is called as underground cable that is more than one conductor covered with the suitable insulation is called as underground cable based upon the application it is available for two conductor or three conductor four conductor so on etc this is the cable and then underground cable and the comparison between over a transmission line and underground cables based upon the various parameter the first one is the cost initial cost of the over a transmission line is less comparing to the underground cable because just in over a transmission line the required for conductor insulator the supporting structure cross arms so on etc but in underground cable we need to take for the deep trench that is two feet to two feet or two feet to three feet based upon the application and the cable cost is also very very high that's why more than three times or up to the five times the cost is more comparing to the overhead system in underground cable the cost is five times of the overhead system the second one the public safety this in overhead transmission line the public safety is not there suppose it is crosses in the roadways highways it crosses in the 
river lake canal so on etc but unfortunately in the road side any accident is taken place the conductor is fallen into the ground particle the surrounding people all the living organism affected for the electric the shock but this problem is not arises in the underground cable that is it should be safe for the public and the next one maintenance cost in over a transmission line the maintenance is required based upon the season in the rainy season the maintenance required is more but in the summer season the maintenance required is less but in underground cable the maintenance is very very less but here the maintenance is less at the same time the identification of fault and rectification of fault is difficult next one frequency of faults and failure in over a transmission line the regular fault and regular the failure is taken place due to the, if for example you can take this is the transmission line supporting structure you can take the rcc pole cross arm scissor here the fitted for the insulator in this the insulator groove taken for the conductor for example you can take three phase system three phase three wire system r phase y phase and then b phase suppose the in roadways any lorry driver drunk and drive the hit the pole automatically the pole is broken some of the time it should be the falling now due to that the conductor are short circuited due to that the conductor are short circuited at the time we need to replace for the pole either supporting structure that is cross arms or insulator some of the time insulator is also failure conductor is also broken into two or three pieces and one more thing is there in the conductor if we are jointing in any of the places either 20% or 50 or midpoint or 70% once the conductor is comes for the rough surface the voltage drop is increased at the same time the skin effect is also increased and corona losses is also increased that's why the maximum in the transmission line they are avoiding for jointing in distribution line one or two joint means no problem more than two joint means they will be replaced from one pole to another pole that for the particular conductor and the fault in the rainy season due to the high wind pressure the conductor are clashed to each other the conductors are clashed to each other due to that the spark is appeared for the particular place the conductor is concerned for the rough surface the conductor is comes for rough surface this all the problem is arises only in the over a transmission line these problems are not occurred in the underground cables the fault occurred is very very less and the next one frequency of accidents the accident is regular accidents is taken place in the over a transmission line it is not affected in the underground cables next appearance that is for visible which one is good in over a transmission line all the conductor it is visible with our naked eyes that is for distribution purpose for example you can take three phase system n number of the connection we are taken here like that it is taken in the zigzag for looking visible it is not good that is appearance is not good in over a transmission line for underground cable the conductor is not visible with our accuracy that is appearance is good in the underground cables fault location and repair in over a transmission line with our naked eyes we can observe all the conductor the insulator cross arms so on etc if any places the fault is appeared we can it is visible with our naked eyes identification of fault is easy and the rectification of fault is also simple but in underground cable the identification of fault is very difficult and the rectification of problem is also very difficult and jointing in over a transmission line the jointing of the cable is easy but in underground cable the jointing is very very difficult because with the help of the clippings we need to join with the help of bolt nut based upon the operating voltage the size of the core is increased the jointing is very very difficult in the underground cable and interference of communication line the over a transmission line is affected for the interference and then communication lines it is affected for radio and interference signal but underground cables it is not affected for the radio and communication signals the working voltage in over a transmission line we can utilize the working voltage for single phase 230 volt to up to 765 kv up to 765 kv but in underground cable up to 66 kv there is no problem beyond 66 kv 
economically it is not satisfied and another thing the insulation problem is taken place insulation problem is taken place but we can use 132 kv also but the cost is more because in over a transmission line from one conductor to another conductor we are maintained for the spacing and it is in the open atmosphere due to the atmospheric condition the some amount of the temperature is minimized but in underground cable in the trench all the conduct it will be close to each other with suitable insulation with suitable insulation once the temperature level is increased means the cable is melted and short circuit is taken place that's why up to 66 kv there is no problem beyond 66 kv economically it is not satisfied that is for cooling purpose we need to go for the oil cooling or gas cooling that is here you need to use for the nitrogen gas for cooling of the for minimize the temperature level in the cable that's why the operating voltage in over a transmission line we can use single phase 230 volt to two, we can use up to 765 kv but in underground cable we can use up to 66 kv there is no problem but beyond 66 kv economically it is not satisfied and the insulation problem is also arises we can use up to 133 kv also no problem and the next one damage due to lightning and thunderstorm in over a transmission line it is affected for the lightning and thunderstorm the underground cable is free from the lightning and thunderstorm once the higher the operating voltage the lightning it should be affected for distribution purpose that is single phase 230 volt and three phase 440 volt it is not affected for the lightning the lightning is affected from 132 kv very less the minute amount and 220 and 400 and then 765 kv the lightning occur is more it is affected for the lightning and then thunderstorm so protecting the lightning here we are used for wall type lightning arrestor another one is for the thyroid type lightning arrestor in the transmission line we are connected wall type and then thyroid type lightning arrestor protecting the conductor as well as for the supporting structure insulator so on etc and the next one voltage drop the voltage drop is presented both distribution and then transmission line but the distribution line the voltage drop is less comparing to the transmission line sorry in over a transmission line underground cable the voltage drop is there but in underground cable the voltage drop is very very less in over a transmission line the voltage drop is more these are the various comparison between over a transmission line and then underground cable you can observe here this is this is the over a transmission line n number of the conductor this is distribution purpose three phase 440 volts n number of the conductor is taken it is taken in the parallel connection n number of consumers are connected this is the underground cable they are taken for the deep trench two feet to two feet or three feet to three feet the bottom they are fixed for the fixing of the cable that is the stand and in that the stand they are leading the conductor once top they are closed for the cement plates here all the conductor is not visible it is not affected for the thunderstorm it is the fault is not appeared accident is not occurred and the major drawback in the underground cable is the cost is more and identification of fault and rectification of fault is very very difficult the jointing of the cable is difficult here you can see here that is in over a transmission line the initial cost is less in underground cable the more expensive that is three times or five times of the higher than the over a transmission line. and maintenance cost in over a transmission line the maintenance requirement is more because all the conductor it is visible in the open atmosphere it is affected for the lighting thunderstorm it is affected for the high wind pressure so on etc due to that some of the times the supporting structure are affected some of the times the insulator are failure the conductors are damaged is the maintenance required is more in the over a transmission line but an underground cable the maintenance required is very very less public safety that is in over a transmission line it is not safety for the public the underground cable is the more safe for the public and chances of accident in over a transmission line the accident the occurred is more chances but an underground cable is very very less the appearance for visible which one is good in over a transmission line it is fair it is not good for the appearance that is visible for underground cable the appearance is good and it is clean the jointing is not visible with our 
nacreous chances of falls and failure in over a transmission line the more chances are affecting the fault and the failure an underground cable is very very less the fault location that is identification of fault and the rectification of fault easy in the over a transmission line because all the part all the conduct it will be visible with our naked eyes identification and rectification is very very simple but an underground cable we need to identify at which place the fault is appear that is very very difficult and the rectification is also difficult and effect of the charging current in over a transmission line the charging current effect is less but an underground cable the charging effect is more due to the capacitance in how many what are the parameters are there there are three parameters resistance inductance another one is for the capacitance that is the charging current is affected due to the capacitance that is ic equal to 2 pi fc into v phase 2 pi fc into v phase that is in underground cable affected for the charging current due to the capacitance voltage drop in over a transmission line the voltage drop is more but in underground cable the voltage drop is less why the voltage drop is more in the over a transmission line due to the inductance and the jointing of the conductor that is in over a transmission line it is easy it is used for the same aluminum conductor material we are twisting the conductor but in underground cable the jointing is very very difficult with the help of the clipping and then bolt nut we need to jointing the conductor but based upon the operating voltage the size of the core is increased in the underground cable due to that the jointing is somewhat difficult and one more problem is there for the jointing for example you can take this is for the three core cable this is the r phase core one and the core two in between that is the suitable paper insulation is there and another one is for the core three as so a similarly now we are removing the top of the insulation we are jointing in the same place that is r phase y phase another one is b phase and without the short circuit we are applying for the removal tip or applying the tip once it is observed for the moisture particle the top of the insulation is the tip is removed it will be go in this the particular place the short circuit is taken place to avoid that one for the jointing it is r phase and here we can jointing for the y phase and the one more place that is here we are jointing for the b phase suppose the insulation tip is removed also it is not short circuit if the material is waste that is we need to remove this much of the insulation part this much of the insulation of the cable is very very difficult that's why jointing is difficult in the underground cable lightning and thunderstorm in over a transmission line it is affected for the lightning and thunderstorm the underground cable it is free from the lightning and thunderstorm interference with communication system that is radio and television signal over a transmission line it is affected more but in underground cable the effect is less this is the comparison between over a transmission line and then underground cables and the next one the classification of cable based on the four method the cables are classified based upon the conductor based on operating voltage and based upon the applications and methods of improving the dielectric stress and based upon the number of conductors the cables are consist of single core cable two core cable three core cable and then four core cable that is the single core cable is only used for the industrial application the two core cable it is used for the distribution purpose the three core cable is used in the transmission line that is three phase three wire system four core cable is used for the three phase four wire system based upon the application they are used for the single core that is only one conductor is there the two core the two conductors the core the another name is called as the conductor and the three core and then four core cable next one based upon the rating of the voltage based upon the operating voltage it is considered for the rating up to 1 kv up to 1 kv that is up to 1000 volt the cable is represent for low voltage cable the operating voltage up to 1000 volt the concentrated for the low voltage cable that is for 440 volt and up to 1 kv this all cable is concentrated for the low voltage cable and the operating voltage up to 11 kv the operating voltage up to 11 kv that cable is represent for the high voltage cable and the operating voltage 
up to 33 kV that the cable is represented for super tension cable. And the operating voltage up to 66 kV, the cable is represented for extra high tension cable. The operating voltage up to 132 kV and above. But maximum, the underground cable, they are preferred only up to the 132 kV. But in over a transmission line, at present India maximum we are having 765 kV. That is up to 132 kV that is represent for the extra super voltage cable. And based upon the voltage, it is classified for various rating. That is up to 1 kV, that is up to 1000 volt. The cable is represent for low voltage cable. Up to 11 kV, that is high voltage cable. Up to 33 kV, the case it is called as super tension cable. And up to 66 kV, that cable is called as extra high tension cable. And up to 132 kV and above, that is represent for extra super voltage cable. And based upon the conductor, based upon the number of the applications and the insulator lead set, it is classified as belted cable, H type cable, SL type cable, and then HSL type cable. That is the belted cable, the H type cable in the sense that is the scientist name that is Hocker started for that purpose. The cable name is represent for the H type cable. That is the inverter name. That is the scientist inverted is Hocker starter. And this, the H type cable, we can use up to the 11 kV. We can use up to 11 kV. And the SL type cable in the sun, that is the separate lead type cable. Separate lead type cable. This we can use up to 33 kV. That is separate lead type cable. And the HSL type cable in the sun, the combination of H type and then SL type cable is called as HSL type cable. This is we can use up to 66 kV. You can use up to 66 kV. This is the based upon the application that is belted cable, H type, SL type, another one is for the HSL type cable. And the next one, methods of improving is the dielectric strength. How we can improve the dielectric strength? One is for the solid type, another one is for oil field type, external oil pressure type, gas pressure type. That is up to 66 kV, there is no problem. If beyond 66 kV means dielectric strength is present. How we can improve? That is solid type cable, ILD field. That is here, here taken for the hollow conductor. The top and the bottom, the conductor is there in between, that is empty. There we are sending for the transformer oil for cooling purpose. And external gas pressure type, that is, and external oil pressure. The surrounding of the cable, this is the conductor is there. The surrounding of the cable, they are sending for the transformer oil for cooling of this conductor. And gas pressure type, we are using for the nitrogen gas for cooling of the conductor. These are the various methods to improve the dielectrics. This is the various classification. Three method, one is for the number of conductor. The second one, rating of voltage. Third one, nature of application of insulation and let's say thing. The fourth one, methods of improving the dielectric strength. And this is the construction of the cable. In this, the example we are taken for the Three core cable, the mainly it consists of the various the component. That is the core, the another name of core is called as the conductor, the insulation, metallic sheath, the another name is called as lead sheath, bedding, armoring, and then serving. That is based upon the operating voltage, the core it should be taken. That is either single core cable, two core, or three core cable. Generally, the cable it consists of more than one conductor, depending upon the type and its use depending upon the operating voltage and its application that is taken for the single core cable a two core cable three core and then four core cable here in this the representation the example we are taken for the three core cable the material of the core the used is called as tinned copper the material used in the core is tinned copper or aluminum Tinned copper or aluminum. But maximum the material you are used for the aluminum conductor. The copper we are using is very, very less because the cost is more. Because the cost is more. The second one, the insulation. The second one is insulation. Generally, 
we are using for the suitable thickness of the insulation without the short circuiting of the one core to the another core based upon the operating voltage the insulation thickness is also changed but the commonly used the insulating material is impregnated paper otherwise the paper insulation that is the commonly used the material is impregnated paper otherwise it is represent for the paper insulation varnished cambric the another one is varnished cambric and the next one is for rubber compound the rubber compound material the maximum recent days they are avoided because the rubber material is observed for the moisture alkalis and then gas material maximum underground cable they are preferred for the impregnated paper impregnated paper that is the varnished cambric also is used for very very less the next one the lead sheet the another name is called as metallic sheet the lead sheet or metallic sheet the protecting of the insulation and then conductor the top of the insulation the layer is used for the lead sheet or metallic sheet the main the purpose is protecting of the cable without observing the moisture particle acids and then alkalines generally in the soil the ground particle the various it is observed the water moisture particle water particle gasoline and then alkalis once this the metallic sheet or lead sheet the function is protecting of the insulation and then conductor without observing the moisture gasoline and then alkali and the top of the metallic sheet they are covered for the bedding this the layer of the bedding the placed over the metallic sheet the protecting of the metallic sheet without formation of the corrosion without formation of the corrosion usually here the material used for the jute or hessian type the material the bedding the material used for the hessian type that is the hessian type in the sense that like steel rule one or two layer they are using the jute or hessian type that is the protecting of the metallic sheet the top of the bedding they are used for the armory the top of the bedding they are used for the armory that is which consists of one or two layer of galvanized steel wire or steel tape that is one or two layer of the galvanized steel wire or steel tape steel wire or steel tape it is the main purpose is to it is protecting for the mechanical injuries of the cable that is protection of bedding lead sheet and then insulation and then conductor the top of the all the things that is conductor paper insulation metallic sheet bedding and then armoring the covering of the complete thing is called as the serving that is the protecting of the any atmospheric condition that is any temperature level and here the material they are used for the fibrous material provided over the armory is called as the serving this is the construction of the cable based upon the operating voltage it consists of the major the component is the fixing conductor or core insula insulation metallic sheet bedding armory another one is for the serving the conductor based upon the application or based upon the operating voltage it consists of single core cable two core cable three core cable and then four core cable based upon the operating voltage the size of the the conductor size is increased based upon the conductor size the insulation is there that is based upon the suitable insulation that is without avoiding the short circuit without affecting the one conductor to another conductor they are used for the suitable insulation the material used is impregnated paper varnished cambric or rubber mineral compound <laughs> but maximum they are preferred only for impregnated paper previous days recently at present they are last 10 years they are used only for the impregnated paper previously they are used for the varnished cambric material that is the insulation is there that is the conductor the top of the conductor they are applied for the cotton cloth and they are applied for the varnish material and due to that it is concentrated for the fully thickness it is it is not observed for the water particle and then moisture particle gases particle but recent days they are used for the paper insulation that is impregnated paper 
the top of the insulation they are used for the metallic sheath or lead sheath here it is protecting of the tapper insulation without observe the moisture particle acids and then gas particle in the from the soil then top of the metallic sheath they are used for the bedding it is protecting of the metallic sheath without formation of the corrosion the material used is jute or hessian type jute or hessian type and the protecting of the bedding the top of the layer is armoring here they are used for the material is galvanized steel wire or steel tape protecting of the mechanical injuries and the protecting of the all these things the total covering body is called as the serving in atmospheric any temperature level condition any temperature level condition the protection is called as the serving and these are the various types of cable that is belted cable screened cable again it is classified for h type sl type cable hsl type cable h type cable in the sense that is hocker starter the scientist inverter name is called as hocker starter that's why it is represent for the h type cable and sl type cable in the sense separate lead type cable the h type cable we can used up to 11 kv the sl type cable is separate lead type cable we can used up to 33 kv the hsl type cable in the sense combination of the both h type as well as for the sl type cable that is we can used up to 66 kv we can used up to 66 kv they are invested the scientist name the same it is represent for the cable beyond 66 kv means they are go for the pressure cable that is oil pressure cable or gas pressure cable here all the cable that this is the construction of the cable the six material is that is core or conductor insulation metallic sheath bedding armoring and then serving this is the construction of the belted cable h type cable sl type cable and go for the oil pressure cable and then gas pressure cable this is single phase system and then three phase system internal in they are sending for the oil that is hollow conductor surrounded by the conductor but in three core cable that is three phase system is there from one core to another core in between they are sending for the oil for cooling of the conductor the gas pressure cable they are used for the nitrogen gas for cooling of the cable but if you go for the oil pressure cable and then gas pressure cable the cost is more that's why economically it is not satisfied the underground cable beyond 66 kv up to 66 kv we are used for the either belted cable used for 11 kv for general distribution purpose and transmission purpose the screened cable it can be used up to the 11 kv sl type cable we can use for up to 33 kv the hsl type we can use up to 66 kv beyond 66 kv economically it is not satisfied that is additional the protection is required that is oil filled cable other is gas filled cable these are the various types of cable based upon the operating voltage